The name's order ray. Shot order ray. Special detectives mine aim. Inserting myself inappropriately into situations that do not require my presence is my game. And these are the stories of my many investigations. On the last installment of Shot Corduroy, Private Lips. Picture in your mind a bar, the average run-of-the-mill sort. Well, hello there, sexy lips. What say we ditch this hole of a tavern and go back to my place for a special surprise? Would you excuse me for a moment, miss? I'll be right back. Not so fast, Shod Corduroy. You're not going anywhere. That's right, baby. He certainly would. Charles Lily Kippers. Death rattle. Collapse. Die. I'll do it myself. I pray that God would forgive me for what I had done, but I had bigger problems. The entire bar had become alerted to what had just occurred. I had to think of something fast, or spend the rest of my days behind concrete walls. They say every man harbors a deep darkness within him. The vacuous subisic into what Lucifer himself was cast unto. The sort of darkness that enables a man to snap his former loved one's neck in an instant, as I so learned, a side of oneself that no man should ever have to encumber. But to last, I had been left with absolutely no choice. It had become the survival of the fittest, and Lord knows I could use a trip or two to the local gym. I was in a true delay of a pickle. The Empire Bar had unanimously decided it fit to drag me outside and hag myself from the nearest tree, and I think it goes without saying that's not how I planned to spend my Friday night. I knew that I would need one hell of a diversion to escape this predicament, but sadly, I had left all of my whoopee cushions and snake nut cans back at the office. <coughs> Sweet mother of Binkerts. That man has no pants whatsoever to speak of, and he has grotesque amounts of genital hair and only one oversized a stickle. And he has what appears to be a severe case of penile warts. And his hair is on fire. The crowd bought the ruse, thankfully, though I had never doubted my diversion creating skills. And with that, I escaped from the bar the only way I saw it possible, by flinging myself through the adjacent wall, blowing up a gas line, in the process, and running back to my apartment building. I was cautious, extremely so as to make certain I wasn't being followed in any way, shape, or form. Once I had made it back to the foyer of my complex, I promptly took the elevator up to the 13th floor, and into my room, which I had ingeniously rented under the name of Flodshore Duroy. Whoa, Nelly, to say that was a rather close call would be like saying my lips could use a good ointment or two. Oh, so you're back, finally. You think you can just leave me all alone here in this seedy dump of a motel? Go bar skipping around town looking for whatever elderly broad is desperate enough to sleep with a guy like you, and then come back here smelling like cheap perfume, kerosene, and old rotten fish. The lovely gal was Marie Croissant, a poor hapless prostitute type picked up off the streets many years back, as already revealed via my former and now deceased wife's long and needless exposition. It's swell to see you too, old gal. And on the topic of bodily odors, I do believe it would be a proper plan to hop promptly into the shower and wash these stains of blood and saliva off of my fine coat. I'll be back out in about 10 minutes, dearest. She didn't know all the sordid goings on in my life, and I intended to keep it that way. The last thing that she needed was to have her mind wrought with the many fears and paranoias that come with a lifestyle like mine. It was for her own protection in case anything should ever happen to me, not con polyester. And so far it had worked. She hadn't the faintest clue of what sort of trouble I was involved in. You do realize you are saying all of that out loud, right? Erm, um, as I was saying, better hop in that shower and wash this stink off of me, unless of course you want a man smelling of weak old kippers and sewage waste climbing into bed with you. HMM, I wonder who that could be at this time of night. Yes, who is it? Rom Service, I have your extra large hamburger and a baltair here. If you would please open the door. 
That's funny. I don't recall this apartment building ever having room service. But I've never been one to turn down a free hamburger and cup of therapeutic tea. Very well, shady foreign sounding sir. I shall allow you entry into my abode. Hello, should Corduroy remember me? Sweet mother of Jehoshaphat's, it's you. Poor Reiner. I thought I'd seen the last of you back in Nuremberg, at the Chocolates and Sweets factory. He's tatsicht old comrade. You nearly had me the artoric when you push hit me into that giant fat of caramel zipon and yellow beans. However, he was able to see myself to Zafete, and then he had a nice candid triad and a rata pleasant afternoon. Well, that's both rather repulsive and jolly when I think about it. But I can only assume given the circumstances and your bloodthirsty expression that you have come to kill me, is that correct? You hit the nail rigged on the heart, old cop. Hey, that's my line, you winner schnitzel fondling fruit cake. You may have so me have been able to kill off both Carlos Lelo Kippers and me for my low for mistress Clarice Brumbleberis, but you must certain level not get past me. So, say hello to Milita Alish Pea King Little Friend. Good Lord Almighty, he wasn't kidding about the little part. Come out from hitting you little sugar quartet covert. I am going to turn you into a strudel sprinkler by the time I am done with you. Oh balls, it looks like I am really done for this time. Oh well, it's been a moderately satisfying life, I suppose. Sei nur Priors, you little sauerkraut stuffing pig duck. Oh, oh, don't I meet this? s w e t m o t of all that is holy that hurts like a b i t c h Schiete. b l a r g h Der Ratne. Da je. What in the name of cheese fondues? Do I have a guardian angel? No, you've got a hooker with a gun. Oh Maria, thank God, you saved me. I knew our love was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, liposuction lips. Now climb into bed and let's get this ordeal over with. Sounds like a plan, sweet beans. But I'm afraid I must void my colon and floss my toes before we can partake in the gratuitous and illegal sexual acts. I hate my life so very, very much. To be continued, tune in on July 21st, 2036 for the next enthralling installment of Clutch Corduroy Live Action Lips.